welcome to our continuing series of teaching videos where we're talking about temperaments. Today we're going to look at the sanguine temperament. The whole concept of temperaments that we use here at Above and Beyond Counseling Center and the Academy is based upon the Arno Profile System. That's a temperament analysis tool developed by Drs. Richard and Phyllis Arno of the NCCA and it's used by counselors and NCCA counselors all over the world to teach people about how God made them. Basically this model that we're going to, that we use, you looks at a person's needs in three distinct areas. One is the need for inclusion or need to maintain and establish social relationships. The second area is in the area of control. How dependent are they on other people? Are they independent? Do they like to be in charge or in control of relationships? And the third need that we have is in the need for affection, our need for love and affection, and our need to maintain and establish deep personal relationships. The idea is that the, that the, uh, the t Arnold Profile System measures a person's inborn temperament, the way God made them, and it's not a personality profile, not a personality test. We see personalities are masks that people can put on or, or, or take off, if you like. And what it does, it helps, alerts us to tendencies, strengths that we have, we can use those to bless others. If there's weaknesses in certain temperament areas, it's like, Lord, change me, transform me, bottom line. Temperament analysis and this tool is not an excuse for sin or bad behavior. There's no better or worse temperaments, just different, and there's strengths and weaknesses and traits associated with each one. And the idea is when we understand our needs, or in the case of marriage counseling, uh, we understand the needs of our partners, it, ha it helps us to know that, understand that we need to get those needs met in godly ways or problems and sinful behaviors are likely to result. Here are the temperament types. It's based on a spectrum of needs. As you can see on the bottom, there's an express need that from low to high and a responsive need, a need that we actually have and respond to from low to high on the left-hand column. More information on our website. Certainly you can find in other places on the internet on these different temperament names and types. But today we're going to look at the sanguine temperament, which is in the temperament there in the top left-hand corner. Just by way of generalities for these temperaments, generalizations, you can see the different characteristics typically. And, and, and you know, the, the model is we'll see a person could be a different temperament in different areas. It can be melancholy in one area, supine in another, sanguine, maybe in affection. So today we're going to look at the sanguines, and you can see they typically are those that love being around people and need people. Key general traits of the sanguines, they're very social people, very outgoing, tend to be full of energy and upbeat type of folks. Fun to be around, tend to live life in a very fast-paced way, people-oriented, and they live for the moment. So the terms been used are like sunshine on a, on, a, on a cloudy day is when the sanguines come into the room. Some of the major strengths of the sanguine temperament are that they're very enthusiastic typically, warm and compassionate. Remember, they're people. Um, people, if you like, or love to be around people. Can be very inspiring to others. They're optimists, very emotionally open, easy to connect with the sanguines typically, and they express and receive affection very, very easily. What are the weaknesses associated with this temper? Need by the grace of God, like, Lord, help me, change me in this area. They tend to be very talkative and like to be the center of attention and can use actually even bad behaviors to become the center of attention. Can be impulsive and undisciplined. Do things on the spur of the moment and they have a tendency because they need to be with people to ignore tasks. So that can be a problem. Very prone to mood swings, up ups, high highs if you like, and low lows. So that needs to be addressed. And can be, they have a very able to express and receive a lot of love and they can be very demanding of their loved ones or the people close to them when it comes to receiving love. So that can be a weakness. Temperament analysis is useful. If you've never had it done, we would encourage you to Google it, check our website. We've got a lot of information on it. We do your profile. We can do your profile with you. We do the reports. You fill out a questionnaire. We go over it over the internet or in the office. It involves a counseling session and you get your own personal profile report. There's other um, teaching videos on all the other temperaments, and we encourage you certainly to check those out. Thank you for watching.